Hello everyone, it's Ariana again, and today I've got a fun trick for you to try at home. Did you know that you can record animation in Blender? You can do this using the automatic keyframe insertion for objects and bones button at the center of your timeline. When used normally, it allows you to insert keyframes on an object or bone simply by changing its position or scale. We're going to use it a little differently. First, you'll need to make sure the automatic keyframe insertion button is enabled. Notice it looks just like a record button on a video camera. With your object selected, you'll then want to use Alt-A to start the playhead moving through the timeline, and then G to move the object around. You'll start to notice a bunch of yellow keyframes appearing in your timeline as you do. To stop the recording, left-click to confirm your movement, and use Alt-A again to stop the playhead, or press the pause button on your timeline. You can then adjust your start and end frames to play back the animation you just made. Try practicing this a few times to get the hang of it. Next I'll show you how to apply this exact method to a character armature that uses inverse kinematics, or IK. Sure, this guy may look scary at first, but wait till you see him dance. First, we'll select the armature and switch into pose mode. After making sure our record button is enabled, we'll select the hips bone. Using the same method as before, use Alt-A to start the playhead and move the hips around as it plays. When you're done, quickly stop the playhead again after left clicking. Let's play it back and see how we did. When we've decided we like what we see, we can also animate other bones in the armature. For example, this character also uses an IK constraint at the tip of his nose. So I'll record moving that as well. Except this time, I'm going to record it while the hips animation plays. This is what we end up with. That's it for this demo. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.